What's good, yo? We back with another video. You feel me? The return. My boy Shush is back in the building. You feel me? I fuck with Shush. He, he be doing like I don't I don't know how he getting the information. You feel me? I know he got like the uh, how does he know this shit? You feel me? The meme. But um yeah man I don't know how he gets information, bro. But you feel me? His shit be fire. The documentaries about you feel me? The New York rap. You feel me? Documentaries. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah man, this one's the crazy story on Shy K. Feel me? His link's gonna be in the description. You feel me? Go check him out, cause he fire. I ain't gonna lie. But we're gonna get into it. Shh. Get it. Shh. You were just screaming Chili. Why are you screaming Chili? I wasn't screaming Chili. Don't get smacked when we see y'all. Our glasses is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, we the ops. We the ops. You the flock. You the flock. Let's be low. Oh, let me go to my own crib. Damn. I ain't never knew, like, how close B-Love and Shy K is, but I know, you feel me, once that shit happened with Ida and K-Flock, you feel me, they both, like, you feel me, picked separate sides. I was like, I just assume, you feel me, they was around each other, but you feel me, they wasn't, like, that type shit. So I just assume they wasn't that close, but you feel me, I don't know. I ain't them. I hope I see one of y'all. That wreck. McKelly, them are dead. One of my father. Y'all be ducking. I got up the cab just to come to your block. Yo, EK, I'm on. What up, bro? Where you at? You're not, you're not going this way because it's Jackson. Kid OK, gang. The majority of New York drill rappers in jail right now, the island is later than ever. New year, but Bronx drills remain the same, continuing with the same momentum. Pushing full speed ahead with no breaks. With K Flack and D-Tang temporarily out of the way, there's a battle right now for the new face of the Bronx. After getting humiliated on social media for shacking off on JD Baby Mama while on FaceTime. At home, girl! He on the phone giving me nothing but that dog! Nothing on the wall! All of that and all of that. The self-proclaimed originator of Bronx Drill is he finally wildin'. back to redeem his crown. Meanwhile, so JD, his yo. ops have other plans. Yo, EK, I'm on what up, bro. Where you at? You're not you're not going this way because this Jackson. So you gotta be somewhere over here. So where you at? I'm on what up, bro. You about to go. But he's thirsty for the top spot. And with his dry and graspy voice, he raps like it too. Besides his violently polluted lyrics, the 18 year old rapper has a lot that he has not spoken about in his past. My name is CJ from Sh YouTube, and this is the crazy story of Shah Ik. Here we go again. Shh. <laughs> Shah Ike, born April 9, 2003, and is of Honduran descent. For those that don't know, mm. Honduras is located in Central America and is the eighth largest Latino group in the United States. But for as long as he's known, has called the Bronx home, an area that is notorious for gang activities and conflicts of senseless murders that inflate the crime rate year in and year out. The Bronx has been listed as the most dangerous borough in New York in 2021, ending the year with 146 homicides and 600 yeah. shootings. And remains the power. I seen like a graphic, bro. I think it was like there was like, bro, it was like a thousand murders going on every year. It was like I think it was like the nineties and the two thousand going into two thousands. You feel me? It was like a thousand murders or some shit, bro. So you feel me? To only get like a hundred, you feel me? I mean, it's it's less than you feel me that, but it's still crazy though. But I think that this is only the Bronx though, which is crazy as hell. It's only a hundred, bro. And you feel me? I know New York probably got like. For me 500 or some some shit but go look at the numbers bro them them like murder numbers and you feel me in the 80s and 90s was crazy bro i know you feel me the 80s and 90s different place then but shit i understand why they feel me the gun laws came down like that i was I in the city Similar to fellow Bronx Drill rapper Beloved, Shaike was raised in the Cortland Projects. Ironically, the two grew up together, with rare okay. videos showing them hanging out at 13 years old. Damn. With body love in the gut. Smoke great, we drink better. Damn. Go get on the lobby and smack when we see them. Like, bro, I ain't never seen this shit, bro. I like, I, I, I be on the, you feel me, the, uh, the t the red eight, you feel me? I'll be on hella Instagrams, like just I'll be seeing rare videos, but I ain't never seen that shit. Shit crazy, bro. Like they, they I, don't, I don't know. Again, bro, like I didn't know they they was close or if they even close now. But for me, it's just crazy, bro, to see this at like the thirteen. Like damn, Falling, shit man. crazy. Don't get smacked when we see y'all. Yeah, we're <laughs> 
A uh, scooter? Scooter shooter. So it's no surprise when everyone says they were actually close friends. But as the story continues, you will see in the streets nothing lasts forever. And that includes friendships. At a point, you gotta pick a side and stay there. Growing up in the projects and any day or any time, you can become another statistic. And that's what nearly happened. Shaike was chilling outside with his family when a car drove by and started to let off shots. According to reports, a total of 26 shots were fired in less than 20 seconds. Luckily, he escaped but three others were shot, including his sister and a nine-year-old boy. This, and it is rumored on countless diss tracks that he was shot by a female who is currently locked up. But Shai can never confirm or deny that he was shot. I don't know if it was a rumor saying that you got shot. Is that true? If you know, you know. No, you know. No, you know. I mean, but you're still here. Still here. Viral. Followers going up. Views going up. Despite the heinous environment that he was brought in, Shaike has always had a love for music. Even hey, I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was a pass whenever you feel me. He was around kids or some shit. What you kid? Nine year old boy. Shit crazy, bro. You letting off shots with a nine year old boy. You hit him. Still when he wasn't hell. sure what he wanted <clears> to do, <throat> he was sitting in the Cockney projects, freestyling with his childhood friend, beloved, along with his brother. <laughs> Using the influence he gained from what rappers like Lil Durk and Be A Young Boy and others, he eventually started to take his talent to the studio, recalling the same freestyle and melodies that he was creating. The drill Shaike that we know today is far from what he was when he first started. Shaike had the persona known as Jiggy Man, who raps using autotune, but at that time he was not gaining much traction with these tracks. No, no, no. But after releasing his first official drill track, Shooter Get Shot, the song accumulated thousands of views and he began to grow a fan base. As his fans started to grow, so did the hate. Releasing a video of him getting a wedgie. Somebody please come up with this paperwork. Paparazzi po, damn. Bro, you wanna talk about my, what my pop did 15, Rip. 50 years ago? Rip this like shit. anybody cares. But one thing about Shai E.K., he doesn't Bro, look, I don't think that was E for me, it's odd. I think that was a big homie or some shit. Anything, I don't know, no. no matter how many L's he I, takes, I, I, I felt like I heard that before, like it was a big homie, it wasn't no ops. He continued moving forward. When asked about the situation, that was his response. So, um, so do you still speak to any of those people from when that happened, when you was younger? Yeah, that's broke. So y'all still really. cool to this day? Yeah. So does he does he like feel bad like that everybody knows now being that you're so popular? Okay. So y'all never really spoke like on that. Like, he the reason why I started rapping. Like, yeah. My, that's my that's gangly. Okay. All right. Despite the rapper's success in the underground drill scene, he continues to live in the Bronx and is currently attending Moth Haven Community High School. And with so much controversy surrounding his name, it's no surprise he would be involved in fights. Late last year. A big commotion broke out during school hours, that seeing Shaike stepping on somebody, and later he caught in a ledge up lacking. He showed no remorse. Top one, you was with the skin of Ewok? Take everything out. You was with the skin of Ewok? Take everything out. Ewok, stupid. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him, Lefty. You were just screaming chili. Why are you screaming chili? I wasn't screaming chili. Drop it. Drop it. In modern day gangster like fashion, he recorded it. For the world to see. Shaike is slowly becoming the most hated rapper in New York and he's involved in so much internet beef it's hey, hard. When, when, when it comes to success you feel me the hate's gonna follow right after bro. To keep up. Nah, it don't matter on. who you are if you chill with the ops you can get shot too. He even had to distance himself from his childhood friend Beloved. After Beloved started to hang out more with K Flack. K Flack has friends that continue to diss his dad friend B Diddy. Brendan Hendrix, aka oh. B Diddy, friends that continue to diss his dad friend B Diddy. Brendan Hendrix, aka B Diddy, had just graduated from Metropolitan Soundview High School and was hours away from attending college. And on the 28th of June 2020, he was shot in the neck on Division Avenue near West 176th Street and Morrison Heights, about two miles away from his home. 
just before midnight on a Sunday. Medics rushed him to the hospital, but he could not be saved. After Beloved chose to side with K-Flag, their relationship have not been the same. When asked about Sha Ike, Beloved is unsure if they will work in the future. Yes, Hopefully you know. they can figure things out now that K-Flag is on holiday on the island. Since releasing his first track, Shaike has proven why he might be the face of the Bronx, accumulating millions of views on YouTube and thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. But it appears there might be trouble in paradise, and he might not be releasing music anytime soon because of a bad deal he signed when he was 16 years old. In a statement, he claims the following. Free me out this bad deal when I sign I have a lawyer collecting money off my music. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I heard some shit with uh, Lil Pump a couple years ago. You feel me? When Lil Pump blew up, I think it was like 17, 18 type shit. Um, I, th I think it sounded like, it was like Warner or something, you feel me? Some, you feel me, uh, music group or some shit. It wasn't no, like, Columbia, no big-ass label, but he signed when he was underage, bro. And I think, uh, his lawyer or something, they found out a way to finesse out of his dude. He signed for, like, a couple M's. And you feel me, this is the height of Gucci gang. And I remember he got out that deal and, and then he re-signed with the same label. But you feel me, they gave him like a big ass bag. It was like 10 plus million. You feel me? And he signed it before he got uh 16. So I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how, you feel me, you can get, uh, you feel me, shit situated in that situation. But if you're seeing this, Shai K, you feel me, reach out and try to figure out how to how to finag finagle yourself out of, you feel me, that deal. Finesse yourself out that deal. Cause I I I know Lil Pump did it. You feel me? I know. You feel me? There's probably a way out of you since you signed when you were. You feel me? Underage and shit. I don't I don't I don't know. You feel me? The logistics, but I know. You feel me? That's just another example of you feel me. Someone finessing their way out the deal. So you feel me? I ain't never heard of this. I ain't gonna lie. But you feel me? He he been dropping consistently and shit. You feel me? At least on YouTube. He he probably not gonna be able to release on streaming platforms, but he can definitely release. You feel me on YouTube or you feel me? Have to leak his own shit. Unfortunately, you feel me? It's that bad. But you feel me? I don't even know who you signed to, but yeah, man. Hopefully, he gets that deal sorted and Thanks. continues to find music as an avenue mm -hmm. because he really has a chance to make a way out of the hood and provide for his family. Hopefully, he learned from his musical peers like Kid Flock and D Tang not to throw that away. My name is CJ from YouTube, and that was Thanks. the crazy story of Shy EK. If you made it this far into this video and you like what you saw, please feel free to like, comment, and share. Tell me who I should do next. My name is CJ from Sh YouTube once again, and I'm out. Meow. Meow. Hello. Shh. All right. Yeah, man. I mean, Shy K. You feel me? I think a lot of people looking at him to be the next up. Um. You feel me? I I don't, don't want to keep repeating myself, but he definitely has a lot of potential. You feel me? Hopefully, he can just stay out the bullshit that comes with you feel me. Drill rap. Um. You feel me? Yeah, as you can see, you feel me, a lot of these rappers that, you feel me, start getting money, you feel me, start, you feel me, staying in the hood whenever they sign million dollar deals, um, and, you feel me, they just get stuck in tough situations, man, you feel me, being on the internet too much, they, they just get caught up in the system, and now, you feel me, they gotta sit now, you feel me, you gotta, you gotta make potential, you feel me, no dick sucking shit, um, you can really make it out, you feel me, you bring all your guys with you too, cause they all talented around you. So you feel me? Just stay out the way. You feel me? Keep doing your thing. And for me, don't worry about the next man. Worry about yourself. But yeah, man, I'm out of here. Um, y'all keep doing y'all shit. I'm gonna keep doing my shit. I'm gonna get up through. But remember to be safe. Stay dangerous.